Concern about memory is frightening. And another reason to be concerned about the coronavirus, the doctors at the Cleveland Clinic say they are seeing dementia symptoms surfacing in COVID patients. UPMC is seeing it too. It's too early to say that COVID causes dementia or Alzheimer's, but it does reveal it. Uh, they might have underlying Alzheimer's and after COVID it can get unmasked and then we can see the signs of Alzheimer's and these are the long followers that might never improve. When you're in the brain business, everyone is looking for the magic pill. If we had a magic bullet, I would be the first one taking it. <laughs> Dr. Reedy Pathera says that patients see ads and they want to know, does it work? That's a very common question I get like in 50% of my patients, they ask me about it every time they see me and I'm, I do this every day of my life. I start to nod my head no. Dr. Pathera says in some cases, there is just no evidence of efficacy. So we can't say anything like turmeric or omega, um, you know, chain acids or um, fish oil, those kind of things. Maybe they have some role. We will learn more in future. But in other cases? There are things we know that don't work. So Prevagen is one and Ginkgo is second because both were studied in controlled trials and they both did not pan out anything. So Dr. Pathero says, be careful. These are just aggressive marketing strategies because people are desperate. That said, if you believe what you're taking, Dr. Pathero says as long as you stay within the recommended dosages and you don't overdo it and you're not spending a lot of money, you may actually be doing yourself no harm, but you also might not be doing yourself any good either. John Shumway, KDKA News.